Hello everyone and welcome to Jill's Fine Coffee Home Barista Edition. Today we'll be showing you how to dial in and pull that perfect espresso shot. And for that we'll be using our Mount Baker Espresso Blend. It's a medium roast and it's great as an espresso because it has that nice crema which is essential for latte art. And of course you don't need to use an espresso blend, it's just something we recommend. You could use single origin Ethiopian beans, Colombian beans, whichever you prefer. Those are just going to be a little more tricky to dial in so you're going to have to really play around with it. And of course, if you want some freshly roasted whole bean coffee, you could visit our website. It's joesfinecoffee.com. And I'll also leave the links in the description box down below if you want to support our coffee shop. So your grind size is going to play a huge role in how well your shot comes out. The smaller the number, the more fine the grind is going to be. And on the contrary, the larger the number, the more coarse it'll be. If you notice that your shot is coming out way too quick and you don't have any crema, that's because the grind size is too big. So make it smaller and that should help adjust it. On the contrary, if your shot is coming out in over 35 seconds, make the grind size larger. I use around four or five and then adjust it accordingly. So let's go ahead and power on our espresso machine. And you wanna make sure that your water tank is full. And a couple quick things to know, this is the portafilter. And we'll be making a double shot using our basket, which is this right here. Your Breville comes with a variety of baskets, um, a couple for single shots and a couple for double shots as well. First thing we're gonna do is tear out our porta filter. And then we recommend weighing out your beans. Um, this will prevent them getting stale in the hamper if you're just using what you put in there. And for that, we are using 18 grams of espresso. And I know this seems like an extra step, but trust me guys, it is totally worth it because your shot will come out that much better if you're using fresh coffee. So I'll dump that in there. And I was curious to see how many grams of espresso the machine will give you if you don't weigh out your coffee. So what I did is I teared out my portafilter and then just filled up the hamper about halfway with beans to see how much it'll give me. And when I weighed that out, it turned out to be about 15 grams of coffee. So that's why we just recommend weigh out the 18 grams. It'll be that much more accurate and your espresso will come out that much better. So now that my 18 grams of espresso is in the hamper, I'm going to go ahead and grind those. And then when it comes to tamping, the amount of pressure you use isn't as important. Just make sure you're consistent with it every time and make sure you're tamping parallel to the surface so that your puck is going to be level and even. Now we're going to go ahead and put the portafilter in and since we're making a double shot espresso, go ahead and press on that double cup button and it should take about 28 to 35 seconds from the moment that espresso starts running to when it stops. And since we're using 18 grams of coffee, this should give us about two ounces of espresso. And this shot is looking beautiful. If for any reason your shot isn't looking like this, just remember to change one variable at a time. Whether you're changing the coffee beans or the grind size, whatever it is, just change one thing at a time and enjoy the process of playing with it. Last thing is to clean our espresso machine. So we're going to discard the old coffee puck. And then I like to pop off the basket and clean it because if you don't, after a couple times, it'll get pretty nasty. And that is it. If you guys have any other questions or anything didn't make sense, please let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.